Illich hoping to extend his current winning streak to six in a row. Illich has an impressive 84% finishing rate and he's never been stopped in his professional career. So, a big task for Kenshin tonight. A little bit under the radar last time. Not a lot of people realized he was making his debut. They didn't necessarily know him. He mostly fought on the regional circuit. Then the head kick heard around the world. The Brazilian, the Mawashi Gary, the banana, the question mark kick. Everyone went crazy over it. And I think he could be the next big talent at KSW. More of the same for me. Do the dance, stay on the outside, pick him apart. But be wary of the bull rush from Kenshik because he doesn't want to go deep into the fight. Even though he's dangerous in the third round, don't bank on it. Kickbox, be smart, but avoid the clinch. So Illich, again representing the Baltics, will have huge partisan support here tonight. And uh, he is a man of many surprises. A great, great stand-up fighter and a very, very technical fighter. Goes by the moniker of the Joker, but believe you me, there's nothing humorous about the business end of this guy. Panie i panowie, przed wami zawodnik Serbii, Aleksander Ilic! Tri runde po pet minuta. Sudat Gap Richter. So, those are the Fightonomics up on screen. Hardly a cigarette paper between them. 9 and 0, 12 and 2. 9 and 0. That's a lovely, magical number. Scheduled for three five minute rounds. A middleweight bout at under 83 kilograms. Will it go the distance, Chris? Or will we see an early shower for both fighters? Fighting Southport, Illich knows the devastating effect of the kicks. And Illich starts the game straight away. And we're seeing some real kickboxing skills from Illich. Illich has got to mix it up, use footwork, and be aware of the cage. Kenshit, definitely throw the hands when he throws the kicks, but try to run him into the fence, get him into the clinch, and take him down. Illich using the low kick, peppering the front lead leg of Kenshik. And uh, Kenshik giving away a slight height advantage, but these are scathing shots from Illich. Illich coming to do business. Illich looks cut. Very, very fit. Very well prepared for this. This is going to be a tough night for Kenshik against a very, very well supported and very, very well prepared Illich. Alexander Illich brings the kicks into play here. And you can see the left lead leg already of Kenshik glowing red. Kenshik wants to take this to the mat. He doesn't want to stay upright. And I'll tell you what, Alexander Illich will not have it. Works the knees. There's the knee strike. And again, Kenshik desperate to take it down. Illich now really working powerfully to stay in the upright. As predicted, Kenshik ran him into the fence at the first opportunity there, Will. But... I like the fact he was using leg kicks to back him up because he has no worry really if Illich wanted to take him down. Well, Kenshik so desperate to get his man on the ground that he forced himself into a little bit of a guillotine there, but he's powered through now and uh, forced that open guard there from Illich. Illich has the legs though. Look at him, bring them up. This is great groundwork. That's why he fell. He caught the overhook and he saw a triangle. It's a risk. Can he clear the right leg? The left is in play, Will, but... It might be a bridge too far. Well, it's opened up a world of opportunity for uh, Kenshik, but can he advantage himself? And then um, really hasn't managed to do much damage to Illich, and Illich's legs are unbelievable. He's got them up and over, and he's really throwing up propositions that uh, Kenshik needs to be aware of. He was going for the far side arm. Now he's in half, he let the arm go. Nice wizard. He might try to regain guard or, of course, frame and try to stand back up, but... There we go. That was it. He went for the recovery. Great work here for Illich. Posture from Kenshik. Punch, posture, position. Ground and pound, 101. Closes up. 
but opens up again as he starts to take a few headshots. And Kenshik starting to work his way into this, isn't he? From that position, he's looking to bring pain down. Now he's got the back of Illich, and this could be an opening for Kenshik. Great stuff there from Illich. Sense the back take, would rather concede position here. And it was well timed. I love the scrambles from Illich so far. He's not a one trick pony for sure. I mean, he's got great jujitsu, I'm sure solid wrestling, but you know where he wants to keep it. You know where the ace of spades is. Oh, this is good, solid work from Kenshik, and he's causing Illich all kinds of problems. This is a really high work rate from these two. We're over 1 minute 30 left in this first round, and it really has been very technical. We're seeing high level operation here. There's one thing we learned from Janikowski, it's that Illich can survive on the ground for a couple of rounds against an Olympian. Yeah, absolutely, but this is a great performance from Kenshik because uh, Illich has given up his back here and those hooks are in from Kenshik. You get the feeling Kenshik's not going to give up this position. He's going to try and go for an early finish. Moves up across the back of Illich, tries to get the hand round, but Illich, well, a little bit of escapology there and Kenshik has to just settle for that half guard. Good recovery from Illich. It could have been mount. It could have been worse. I'm impressed with Illich though. I mean, he's clearly been very well trained and prepared for these types of situations. And Kenchik too. He's advancing, he's working. Again, another very competitive matchup. And that's what we all thought going into KSW 51. Well, he looks very, very comfortable working off his back, Illich. He's got to the upright, and this time he's reversed the momentum. This time Kenchik struggles here. Illich has his man on the wire, and he's really forcing him up there, pulling him up, trying to get position. Tactical escape from Illich, he's trying to frame and work a knee. I can see him going to put his forearm across the face, get some space, and then load up. He wants out of here though, Well, There's no reason to tie up against the wire. Absolutely, I mean, Illich is best when he's out. Kicking, striking with his hands, 10 second clapper there. So whatever happens here will be lost as the bell is about to ring. And that was a really brilliant opening round for both fighters. And uh, it looked to me at the beginning that Kenshik had a big, big, tough proposition ahead of him, but he's really in this. They both are. And Illich, what a great performance so far. I was impressed with the fact that after getting kicked up like that, that he kept his base and his power and he obviously worked very hard. Illich, though, I think made a little bit of a mistake falling for this because he couldn't clear the right leg. The left was in play. It was above the shoulder where you'd want to be, and he did a good job of, of re-gripping and then going for this kind of sequential movements that you'd need, but this is the price, and this was also the price. But he was very comfortable and secure there, and a uh, bit of escapology, and he was out, but it's early days yet. First round gone, both fighters just warming to the task, and uh, they both come here with incredible winning streaks. This is going to be exciting going into two. Now they've both worked out where the locks are, can they unpick them? A little bit of deja vu, right? Yanakoski had his way out the ground in the first round. Well, we see it again with Kenshik and Il. Two of a scheduled three. Alexandra Ilic of Serbia, fighting out of red. Tazari Kenshik from Poland, fighting out of blue. Straight to the accent, and it's sharp. Illich took a look at that lead leg, which in between rounds, when he sat down, when he slowed down the heart rate, you can see he's already getting a little black and blue, swelling up. He took a look at it and kicked it. Smart. Well, he starts to land the shots now, and that lead left leg is going to be a target, as well as the midsection. He's really peppering Kenshik. Kenshik doesn't like it, but he catches, and there's the takedown. That left leg was a bit lazy, and Illich paid the price. He's down on the ground now, has to settle for holding Kenshik in full guard, locks him off there, and now Kenshik starts to work where he likes best. Deja vu indeed. He got greedy, Will. Several good shots landed, the leg kicks and the body kick, he hit him with a liver triple time across the midsection, yeah, then he overstepped. It, it seems very strange to me, when you're owning the space, all you've got to do is drop that shot into the inside thigh, you're going to have entopic discharge. When a man can't use his left leg, well, what's he going to do? You know, it was a bit greedy from Illich, but he's paying the price now, and just look at the amount of determination that Kenshik is bringing to this. Really? Oh, here goes Illich looking for the spinning arm lock. He's underhooked the leg. Couldn't get it. And again, Kenshik 
continually walking forward, squaring up, shutting down the hips, posturing, little annoying shots, anything to try to open up either the pass, tire Illich out, frustrate him. Good handwork there, that was great. Ketchik presses down, postures and then punches. Illich starting to take some heavy traffic now. Those shots have got heat on them. Ketchik very purposeful here in the ground and pound. Gives up to go to the upright. And uh, Illich, well we've seen him here before actually. And uh, yeah, Damian Yanikowski was riding him around like a right dog. You know, suplexing him up and over, we saw. And Illich, well, he kind of does that. And it's a false sense of security that he gives his opponent. Kensit really working well here, though. Feeling like he's got everything his own way. But this is where Illich works. He's kind of like uh, one of those creatures in nature that lets you think that you've got them cornered. But in actual fact, he's bringing you on. Well, he looks gassed now as Kensit takes it to the ground again. Not good. He was holding on to the front headlock position for the choke. Backed off, frame push away, but then just stutter stepped. Sign of exhaustion for sure. Conceding the takedown and giving up this position is not a good sign. Well, he looks like he's in a room with the oxygen being sucked out of it. Illich now trying to rest and gain composure on the ground. But Kensit, he's almost nuclear driven, isn't he? Look at the power this boy has. He's really bringing it to Illich and uh, hitting him with forearm and elbow. Illich taking shots and sucking up for air that isn't there. Might go for a north south choke here. He can pass off that. Difficult to see what he was looking for, for reaching behind the neck. But every lesson so far of the previous encounter. Kenchik has heated. Oh, well, this is a great, solid performance from Kenchik. This is a time when more is more, and he really is bringing it. This is everything in the rule book, and that's a lovely, dominant position using his weight. Illich has to turtle up, gives up his back, but he's got hooks in. Kenchik, can he make it work? He's rolled Illich over. Well, this is the hurt locker for the Serbian. Very smart. Very methodical, all the right little micro movements in the pack take. I mean, you're tired, you're slippery, it's 10 minutes deep nearly. Very, very good. He's got both hooks. Let's see what he can do with it here. Well, Illich looks as if he'll last as long as a stray cat on the highway. He's in a really dangerous position here. He's being leveraged. Kenchik looking for submission, really putting that forearm on. Hasn't quite got it under the chin. Illich desperate to try and keep it out. But look at Kenchik. That's it, it's all over. It's a submission. What an absolutely emphatic performance there. Illich strangled within an inch of his life. The crowd are unhappy. But that was a great performance there from Cesare Kenshik. It wasn't the cleanest choke with his left arm, but the right arm was tight enough. He was putting pressure down on the jaw. He was slowly forcing it in over and around the neck. And when you kind of got that V, the V of the arm locked around like that, it's enough, especially slowly, working the breathing of Illich. Like an anaconda, it sets in, and that is exactly what he did. Great Well, you're finish. right, Chris, it wasn't easy on the eye. But then this isn't a beauty pageant, is it? And uh, Kenshik here now has made his statement here at KSW. This really is him on the map. That was impressive, really impressive. And I have to say, I think Illich made mistakes given his fighting toolkit see there the way that he was just hipping into it bending him there we go and the arm had slowly snuck underneath the chin not a perfect or a picture perfect choke but a very effective choke and again just sensational jiu-jitsu for mma exactly what kenshi needed to do going into this fight it was the hook with the leg in and that position of his hips against the back which forced Illich to arch and it was from there that that choke came. There was absolutely no chance of any respiratory recovery. It really was strangled good and proper. Well, what a win. Dame gospodo, pobiednik je... Ladies and gentlemen, with a marine naked choke, the Polish tank, Cezary Kesi. 
Cesare Kenshik. Hadaka Jimei. Puts on the sleeper. And stretches out his opponent. Alexander Illich must drink from the bitter chalice that is defeat. Great performance here at KSW 51. And there goes the winning streak of uh, a fighter that's come to K1, set out his wares and paid the price.